Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of KUNESC Adventures 2022. I'm Nadia from Russia. And I'm Aisha from Turkey. KUNESC Adventures is a project where foreign experts travel all over Korea to discover the beauty of UNESCO World Heritage in this country. There are different types of UNESCO heritages. And in Korea, it's divided in two, three types. So first one, World Heritage. Second, intangible culture, heritage of humanity, and the last one is memory of the world. This year, though, KUNESCO Adventures will focus on Buddhist temples in Korea. Why did they become cultural heritage? You may ask me. Yep. Well, we will find out together. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, and don't forget to like to follow everything. And of course, there is no better way to start our temple adventures than celebrating Buddha's birthday! Welcome to Yeongdunghae, the Lotus Lantern Festival! Yeongdunghae, the Lotus Lantern Festival, is a traditional celebration with 1,200 years of history in the Republic of Korea. And recently, in 2020, it became a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. As Buddha's birthday approaches, on the 8th day of the 4th lunar month, the whole country lights up with colorful lanterns with the main celebration happening in the capital, Seoul. As we can see, Jonggak Street is now full with colorful lotus lanterns and people holding handmade lanterns. Your favorite one. Minus this one. Lighting the lanterns has a special meaning. It symbolizes brightening our minds and hearts, wishing the best for our lives as well as for the community and all society. In times of social difficulties, it has an important role in bringing society together and helping people overcome problems. Originally a religious ritual, Yeongdunghae has become a national spring festival open to people from all nationalities and religions. Be welcome, my friend. How about making our own lantern? Yeah! Oh, I think they are so pretty, amazing. right? Um, then I think I will do mine with colorful petals. How about you? I think I'll do mine in colors too. Okay, then let's go. Wait, 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 wait. But don't you wonder why the Lotus Lantern is actually the main symbol of the festival? That's a good question. Let's find out. Let's find it out. The lotus flower grows in the deep mud, far away from the sun. But sooner or later, the lotus reaches the light becoming the most beautiful flower. And just like a lotus flower, even if our roots are in dirty waters, we may also bloom with purity and beauty. The lotus flower is an important symbol in Korean culture and Buddhism, representing purity, enlightenment, self-regeneration, and rebirth. It is present not only on the Lantern Festival, but also in Korean traditional painting and architecture of temples and palaces. Do the, do the rainbow. Okay, let's go. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, purple. The rainbow. Oh my god. The festival lanterns are made with hanji, the traditional Korean paper. And making the lantern itself is an amazing moment to reflect on your own sincere wishes a prayer for our own happiness as well as the happiness for others. Okay, Nadia, I'm done with mine. How about you? We're done. Well done, girls. Have what is this? Something written here. Find me where people are reunited and dancing full of joy. Find me where the lights together become a Milky Way? What, what is, is that? that? I don't know. But 
It sounds like an adventure. Then, shall we go? Let's go! Let's go! Usually the festival starts in Dongguk University, where we can watch groups of young and old people dancing and singing together. Wow, right? we can do that too. <laughs> yeah, we should. The rhythm may be a little bit off though, hmm. but no one actually cares. With all the joyful and friendly spirit of the ceremony. Yeah, we can see that, right? Yeah. Oh, and a custom for Buddha's birthday is to bath the baby Buddha with perfumed water. And bathing the baby Buddha actually has been a long-standing Korean tradition. Yeah. And it's a way to wash away our negativity and commit to living a virtuous life. After this energetic opening, everybody moves to Dongdaemun, where the parades begin and follows it until the end of Chogyesa Temple. I'm gonna be on the news! <laughs> Parade where all the people become one, in the Milky Way of Light, matching the Buddhist idea of the larger world, where you and I are not differentiated, but connected with each other. the lantern brightens the world, the participants light up the festival with their energy. This was so intense. All these people laughing and shining together. Oh my heart feels so warm. This festival unites people from all different nationalities and religions in one place. Uh, that was so intense. How are you feeling? It's written on my face, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired also, but let's make it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I was so happy, really, entire yeah, it was time. Fun. It was fun. It was but fun. I wonder something. What was yeah. your favorite part? Yeah, what a question, actually. Mm, the people enjoying the parade, the lights, the lanterns, lanterns, everything, actually. But you know what? We found it. Hello! So, what we found? Where we can find joy and light in our heart. Well, sadly, guys, it's time to say bye. But only for today. So, Let's meet at our next video, okay? UNESCO Adventures, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.